Hey guys, it's that time of the year again, and you know, for another year here, I'm a VIP member of the Lonely Hearts Club, so I decided to make a video to try to change my situation, you know? So this video goes out to the one that got away for me, the, a girl that I almost met on a train. So this missed opportunity took place on a train trip from Washington, D.C., the capital of America, to my home in uh, the Central, Central America. This is a really long train trip, so of course who you sit next to, it can be really important. And uh, I, of course, got sat next to an old lady, but we talked, and it was okay. And she only said, like, two or three racist things. But after a little while, she fell asleep, and I, I couldn't really sleep. But then I noticed that a beautiful young woman had had taken the seat across from across the aisle from me so I, th I start thinking you know what what could I do to get this girl to notice me get her attention maybe even start a conversation so I decided that I would drop some hints to let her know that I'm interested so as I'm, s I'm still sitting next to the old lady I wake her ass up and I start a very loud conversation with her saying things like You know, things like that, um, dropping hints, you know, sending the signals out. Um, also, I mentioned my email address, just in case she was writing what I was saying down. Um, but, you know, it didn't actually work. Uh, we never had the conversation and the romantic story to tell our kids one day. And, you know, that did, just didn't happen on the train. So maybe she could have potentially been deaf. And that's why it didn't work. Honestly, she was probably just too shy. But um, I'm going to give her one more chance. So to the girl out there who sat next to the guy who stared at her most of the train ride, I'm hoping for a Valentine's Day miracle here. You know, reach out to me. I'm putting my information down at the bottom. I'm putting it all on the line. And uh, I hope to hear from you. And I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together.